know everyone that's been doing my Stronger Sculpting series this week, um, I know every single muscle group really hurts right now. I completely get that because I do too. Particularly over my chest, upper body, back, um, yeah, a little bit of everywhere, biceps, and particularly my triceps actually hurting today. Um, so I know everyone is, is yeah, really feeling it. Um, so um, I'm being kind today, <laughs> as kind as I can be. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think we've really, really blasted through every single muscle group this week. So just get warmed up with me. Um, We've done a little bit of German volume training um, this week as well, which we're going to do a little bit today, um, just a little bit, <laughs> on some of the muscle groups where we haven't necessarily used as much. But we're going to start with two exercises where we're going to repeat for 10 reps for three rounds, okay? And then we're going to do a little bit of our 10 reps, 10 sets for one exercise, and we're going to go back into two exercises repeated for three rounds. Um, for 10 reps and then we're going to do a little bit more so um, it was a little bit of a case of find the muscle that doesn't ache today <laughs> um, and yeah I, I'm really fit at even doing this here I'm really feeling it from what really working through the back um, in a good way um, so I'm really feeling it in my back but um, obviously working a lot of the upper back we have this week um, which is really good for your posture, um, you know, pushing, um, tightening up through the upper back, stops that roundedness. Um, so just come into a wide stance, just give me some side lunges, and my legs are feeling it too. <laughs> and I really would recommend anyone that's not doing my Stronger Sculpting series, get on it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's been really good. I've really really enjoying doing this series. We're on week number three. Um, the fifth exercise in week number three. Um, and this week has been tough overall, I think, um, with the Pilates as well. Um, so yeah, it's been a tough, tough week. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy this session. Oh, I'm feeling that just in these arm circles. <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to demonstrate the exercises we're going to do in our first. So we're working through the legs. Um, we're going to go for a curtsy lunge, um, one-sided, okay, one-sided. So the beauty of the curtsy lunge is that we worked multiple muscle groups, so it's a compound move. So we're, we're, really, we're really, really focusing on the glutes and the inner thighs, um, the adductors as well. So we're going to go for a curtsy lunge, obviously weighted, back in tap down, tap, okay, you really get that glute activated. And then we're going to go for B stance single squat. So I just want you to take one leg back and we're going to drop our chest here, okay. So B stance squat, dropping our chest nice and low, okay. So we're just getting that glute working more because we're lowering down, okay. So they're your first two exercises and I'll demonstrate the rest as we go through because our third exercise we're going to go to upper body, we're going to work the lateral um, deltoids, um, we've run a lot through the front deltoids, anterior deltoids um, this week so you'll be fine, should be fine on working the lateral deltoids, okay, lateral delts. Let's get going. I'm going to go for four kilogram weights for this workout um, and yeah I may well go down probably for when we come to the lateral because we're doing our 10 reps 10 sets then I'll probably go down to my three kilogram weights okay let's do this curtsy lunges get nice and deep and I want you to step out quite far and keep your chest up nice and high because we want to work through the quads and through the hamstrings, not just through the glutes, okay? If you were to lower your chest down nice and low, you're gonna get that quad more engaged and the glute more engaged. So we wanna sit upright, okay? Working more, more full body through the legs. Okay, are you ready? 10 reps, let's go. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if you haven't already, nine, <laughs> ten, because I forgot, people that aren't premium members or haven't been following this, always start with your weakest side first, okay? So I was working, my left leg was going over, my right leg is my weaker side, so I started with my right. Okay, other side, let's go. One, two, my knee is tapping the ground, three, four, five, staying upright, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, B stunt squat. So take that leg back, it's just on your tiptoes, so you're not feeling any work going through this back leg, okay? And you wanna lower your chest down. Ready, let's go. Nice and low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, no quicker or slower than me. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, shake out, back to your curtsy lunges, stay upright, let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, try and get that knee down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, when I'm working through the legs, I always like to work unilaterally. Sorts out any imbalances. 10. B stunts. Ready? Let's go. Weight all in the front leg. Dropping your chest slightly forward. Keeping your back straight. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, get nice and low, seven, my weights are pretty much touching the ground, eight, nine, ten, other side, let's go, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake out. Ready? Round number three. I know everyone that's <laughs> been following me this week, it's whew, tough everywhere. Let's go. One, two, three, stay upright, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We're going to work the lateral delt. As I said, I know everyone's feeling achy, but it's about one of the only we worked really anteriorly um, previously on Wednesday. So you should be okay. You're still gonna feel it everywhere. Um, lateral raises are really good for mobility in the shoulders and strength building. Um, it also works a little bit of the upper back, um, through the neck um, and through the core. So standing up, we're keeping a nice strong core. When you come up for a lateral raise, no swinging going on. If you have to do ooh, that, you need to go down a weight, okay? So sideways is nice and controlled, just to halfway, just to halfway, just to straight arms, okay? Don't come over. If you're coming over, you're starting to incorporate your chest, okay? So you'll feel that, even if I'm just holding it without weight, I'm feeling my chest engaging. So we just want to come to shoulder height, okay? Right, I'm gonna go for, we're gonna go for our 10 reps, 10 sets that we've been doing this week. Um, so I'm gonna go for my probably regret it, but I'm going to go for my three kilograms, probably wish that I would go down to my twos, but I'm going to see how I get on. Okay, make sure you stay nice and straight. Core, you'll really feel this working for your core as well. Um, so stay nice and strong. No quicker or slower than me. Core braced, only to shoulder height. We just want to work the lateral delts, okay? Ready? Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, I'm so on level, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready, round number two. Let's go. One, two, three. Make sure you're really going out to the side. Four, five, no higher than shoulder height. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little shake out. <laughs> Round number three. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. 
Round number four. Let's go. Strong through the core. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm really tight through my left um, side, my right side even. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I was going a little bit higher than the range I wanted there, so I'm going to make sure I'm level. Luckily, I can see myself in the screen on my laptop <laughs> and my TV. <laughs> Round number five. Let's go. One. That's better. Two, three, still not quite level. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a good thing when you look at yourself. If you do this in front of a mirror, you can really see any imbalances. Um, mine's just raising up one side more than the other because I'm so tight in my lats. <sighs> Round number six. One, two, three, four, five, Really getting my upper back here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number seven. Oh, Frankie, are you okay there? Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, oh, eight, nine, ten. I'm really feeling it now. Round number eight. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number nine. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm struggling. Eight, nine, ten. Round number nine. Two more rounds. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten. Oh, one more round. Oh, are you feeling this? <sighs> we'll do some neck releases later. Ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Nine, 
10. Ah, oh, just have a little shake out. We're going back to two, two exercises for three rounds. Ah. Oh. Okay, our next exercise, we're going for a preacher hammer curl to an upright row. And then we're going to go for a rotation sideways, um, rotation front raises even. I forgot what I was doing then. <laughs> right, we are going. Curl, palms facing each other. Okay, nice and low. Up, upright row. Okay. That's your first exercise. So if you can't come all the way down into this position, so my elbow, my arms are just resting on the inside of my knee. My back is nice and straight, so in a nice sumo squat position, upright row. Okay, just come down to where you can. Curl, upright row, okay? Then we're gonna go for rotation to front raises. So we want to come down to this position. So we've done this before, we did this last week. Okay, so weights together. We're gonna push to the side, push to the side, so it really works for your core and your back, okay? Come up, front raise, okay? So down, up, front raise, okay? Just 10 reps of each, three rounds. Okay, you ready? Whew. So we're obviously working multiple muscle groups in this one. Ready? Oh, <laughs> let's go. Curl, upright row, one, two, three, keep your back nice and straight, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lead with those elbows. Ten. So you want your elbows to be the highest part, not like this. Okay, don't do that. Okay, elbows lead with the highest part. Okay, so we're bent over position to here. Weights together. We're just moving the weight, okay? So our torso will move, but don't move like this, okay, with it. Nice and still. Ready, core nice and tight. Rotate, rotate, up, front raise. So you shouldn't feel that too much in your shoulders. If you've been following this with, and the shoulders ache, put it that way. Ready? Because we're working them slightly differently from what we have done on Wednesday. Up, front raise, down, rotate, rotate, up, front raise, three, four, Really getting those obliques. Five, only to shoulder height. Six. Seven. Oh, eight. Looks easier than it is, doesn't it? Nine. If you want to go down to one weight, please feel free. Just keep that back straight. Ten. Back to your hammers. Oh, that's really blowy out there. Just shut the blind. Ready? Nice and low. Let's go. Elbows lead. One. Elbows lead. I'm really feeling this in my ear. Three. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rotation. Please feel free to go down to one. I'm probably going to go down to my one four kilogram. Okay, ready? Nice and straight, straight arms. Oh, I feel that core working, no obliques. One. Two. Three. Four. I think I need to shut my window. Five. Nice, straight back. Six. Seven. I'm alternating the side I'm leading with, by the way. Eight. Nine. Oh, this is so much harder than it looks, isn't it? <laughs> Ten. It really gets the obliques around here. I'm just going to shut my window. It's a little bit blowy today. Round number three. Okay, ready? Let's go. One. Two, keep your back straight, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Ready for your rotations. Straight back. Let's go. Big reach. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh, for that back that's been doing a lot of work this week. Seven. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Ten. Well done. Okay, our 10 reps, 10 sets. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Calf muscles. Um, I know we've worked quite a bit through the calves already this week, but one of the ones where it's probably the least aching as well. Okay. So you can do this on a bottom step or on a raised step, okay? Or just standing here, okay? So if you're doing it on a step, weighted obviously, if you want to. Um, so you drop your um, heels down so they're past, okay, and come up. You'll feel it because you've got a bigger range coming through. So you can do it on a bottom step or grab a book, okay? 
can grab a book and do it on the book. Um, you decide. Okay. 10 reps, 10 sets. I'm going to do it on my step here. Okay, but you can, you're going to feel it here, just really squeeze through those calf muscles. As I said, um, we haven't blasted the calves as much this week, so you should be okay. Okay, ready? Let's go. Really squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake out. Round number two. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I'm really feeling that on that step. <laughs> Round number three. Let's go. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's three rounds. Round number four. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I'm going to do the last one on the step and then the others on the floor. Really gets the hamstrings going as well. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's five. All the burn. Okay, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Round number seven. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number nine. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten reps to go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. <laughs> okay, coming down to a seated position. Oh, definitely feel those scarf muscles working. Okay, we're going to go for half crunches. Okay, so 
Crunches are somewhat an uh, exercise that you can make it as easy as or as hard as you want to make it. We want to make it hard, okay? So, wait to hear. I really want you to really push your back into the mat. So imagine there's you've got some peanuts under the small of your back and you're trying to crush them as you reach, okay? So, wait up. Legs bent or they can be straight. It's up to you. Okay, you can do a few one way and a few the other way. Okay, ready? Let's go. Pause it there and release. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, exhale as you reach, nine, ten, leg lowers for ten, ready, out, nice and controlled, one leg at a time if you need to, if you're struggling, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, crush those peanuts. 10, feet down, weight to your chest, sit up, one, nice and controlled down, two, bring the weight up if you are struggling to come up, okay, three, roll up if you're still struggling still, okay, four, try and keep that weight to your chest though, five, Sorry about the noise on my back. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Crunches. Ready? Crunches are more working for your transverse abdominals, sit-ups are more working for your rectus abdominals. Ready, reach. One. Two, just pause at the top. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs up. One. If you want it harder, legs straight. Two. Three. Four, push those peanuts in, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Weight to your chest. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, abs, abs, abs. Ready? Pause it. And release. Reach. Pause it. Two, three, and release. Pause it. And release. Four. Pause it and release, five, six, seven, music stopped, it always seems to, the last bit, eight, nine, ten, hold it, hold it, come on, keep holding, Keep holding, keep holding. 10, release. Legs up, legs straight or bent. Nice and controlled, exhale down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it. Push your back in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three two, one, last sit-ups, <sighs> one, little slow on the way down, <sighs> two, slowly, <sighs> slowly, oh, it's so windy, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Super slow. Ah, oh, ten. Well done. I was so nice today, wasn't I? Yeah? <laughs> um, I think it was needed after this week. Oh! Literally no muscle is aching, is not aching. Oh, just reach hands to the back of your head. Just push your chest out. Reach over to the side. And the other side. Ooh. Take one arm across, pull across. Big breaths. And the other side. Oh, a nice way to finish off this really tough week. Um, yeah, I've been super tough. Um, just take your hands to the back of your head, just drop your neck and to the side and to the other side. Back to the centre. Coming up onto your feet. Just let your upper body hang for that stretch on your hamstrings. And just bend one knee and the other. And then pause it with one leg bent. That stretch on the back of your legs. 
and the other side. Roll up, just going to stretch out my calves, push that heel into the ground. And the other side, push. And release off, just stretch out my quads, just really quickly. Um, if you're not joining me for Pilates, um, please do have a good stretch out. We will be doing a little bit of stretch in Pilates as well, so you can look forward to that. Um, but yeah, please do have a really good stretch out if you're not joining me. And I'll see you again soon.